Thank you for joining us for another Newton Design Series session. This time with me, I have Rob, who is a Horizon PTL. Rob, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm Rob Cresswell. I'm the uh, Horizon PTL for um, the Newton Cycle. Um, I'm a software engineer with Cisco Systems, where I've been for the last four years. Um, joined OpenStack about two years ago, and I've been working on Horizon since then. Great, thank you so much for joining us today. So before we begin, can you give us a little background on what Horizon uh, is as a project? So Horizon um, kind of has a, a dual purpose. It provides a library of um, widgets and components that people can build a, a dashboard and extensions to that dashboard from, but then it also provides a base dashboard for some of the larger OpenStack components like Nova, Neutron, Glance. Got it, thank you. So we're about a month after the Austin Design Summit. What were some of the hot topics that you and your team discussed and what were the outcomes? So with, um, with Horizon, we've got a, an ongoing kind of move to AngularJS and uh, moving on to kind of a, a JavaScript client-side framework. Um, this has always been quite contentious because uh, it, it's basically resulted in quite a big rewrite of the project. Um, and that we tend to get a lot of back and forth over that. So that's always something that has, um, that, that comes up and, and we kind of have to negotiate and you know, go back and forth over how we'll solve those issues going forth. And also how much time we want to put into the long-term goals around Angular and um, things like Searchlight integration versus fixing the problems we have here and now with the existing Python and Django implementation. Got it. And so, from a user needs perspective, in, in this cycle, what are some of the items you're hearing about from users and what are you doing to address them in this cycle? So there's a couple of things um, that repeatedly come up is uh, issues with um, scalability, um, specifically on the dashboards themselves. Um, when you start looking into the admin views, so you start looking across uh, multiple projects and regions at once, that tends to get very non-performant. Um, we also have a lot of inconsistencies to do with things like pagination and filtering because, um, because of the implementations in the different projects and because we've always done that, uh, we've attempted to do that server side where the projects provide it. They tend to be, um, they tend to, those implementations tend to vary a lot between those different services and they're not always available. Um, one of the things we're probably going to use in the future is um, plug into the Searchlight project and, uh, and kind of use that to give us a, a cache layer that we can um, build on to you to get like consistent um, paging and filtering search. Great. So now that we've heard about some of the hot topics and user needs that, that you are planning to address, based on that list, um, what are the top three priorities for either new features or existing enhancements to existing features for Newton specifically? So Again, this kind of splits into where we're kind of moving forward on the Angular stuff whilst also trying to improve the existing Django content. So this kind of has a few different directions. There's um, iterative improvements to a lot of the theming work. Um, so we've had some massive re rewrites of the uh, like HTML and CSS that we use, um, really stripping out a lot of the bloat that we've put in, a lot of the inconsistencies so that people can extend and theme their deployments of Horizon much easier. Um, this work, this is like a, this is something that came up constantly in, in around the kind of Juno Kilo Liberty um, summits because, especially I think with smaller um, organizations using OpenStack, they tend to just want to lightly brand Horizon rather than make sweeping alterations to it. So that's been a big boost for us. So iterative improvements there. Um, we also last cycle rewrote the panel, uh, the user interface for Swift. So we'll be kind of continuing to extend that with some nice little features and uh, you know fix bugs on that. Um, in terms of bigger improvements, there's going to be a lot more um, kind of structural code added to make Angular features easier to do, to make um, plugins that extend existing content easier, and to make it and sort of continue laying the groundwork for us to use Searchlight in the future. Perfect. So. The product work group uses this concept of themes. Uh, the themes that we typically focus on are things like scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, and interoperability. Uh, 
Sure. If we were to kind of, um, you know, go at a higher level for a second in the Horizon Project, what do you think are the themes that your team is working on in Newton? The biggest one has to be scale. Um, we have improvements to the, uh, on the admins, as I mentioned earlier, the kind of admin views. Um, we've got some small tweaks to make there in the Python and Django work. Um, so for example, one of the suggestions we had was to require a filter when you go to these views so that when you um, immediately reach the view, we don't make any data requests until you ask for a smaller scope of data because the, otherwise the initial request gets crazy. Um, so we have like little bits of, and things like that that will kind of help improve the scalability of the existing content. Um, and then we have the groundwork for Searchlight in the future, which will start letting us scale and handle um, tens of thousands of objects in a, in a kind of a much more, uh, a much nicer way for the end user, basically. Um, the secondary one I would say is, um, is probably, I think would sit under manageability. So just improvements to the way we're handling um, plugins, settings, and theming and branding. So again, this is all like iterative improvements, bits and pieces that we're building on from previous cycles. But um, yeah, those are kind of the two major themes, I think. Great. Well, thank you so much. This was really useful information. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, we are always looking for more contributors, uh, more reviewers. So, you know, if people are interested, get involved. Our IRC is incredibly active and the community is really supportive of new people. So, yeah. Great. What, and what is the IRC channel? It's OpenStack Horizon. Great. OpenStack Dash Horizon, sorry. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today, Rob. Thanks very much.